Hello, everyone. So I did this on NHL 20, I think. I love how my confidence on that changed in about 1.6 seconds. Anyways, today we are going to be taking the best or highest rated player on each team and tossing them into free agency. So that's, that'll just be interesting to see when we go into a franchise mode where players are going to end up. And if there's a tie, like I'm pretty sure I said this in the last video, so... I think I did do this on NHL 20. If like the Boston Bruins, for example, they have a bunch of 91s, then I just send the top player. So Gibson will be the first one to go. Welcome to free. Okay, I forgot about that. So I need to add just some random goalie to their team. I just went to go create a new active roster from my current one because then, you know, <laughs> I, I'll be able to just reset this very easily afterwards. Also, I'm glad I decided to do this because I just found out that 74 overall, I think it was, Askarov? Yeah, you should be on the Nashville Predators. All right, so we will give Zatkoff to the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim in exchange for John Gibson. That's a fair trade. OEL will be leaving the Arizona Coyotes. We not moving anyone from there. So yeah, Bergeron's at the top. They get to keep Pasta and Marchand. Jack Eichel must go to free agency. Markstrom's going to free agency. Oh, okay. I need to go grab it. I, I thought I couldn't get past that, but the mic was just in the way of the button <laughs> to get rid of it. All right. Glass for Markstrom. Seems fair. Sebastian Aho. I don't know. I'm probably not going to do this for every player, but I'll just <laughs> basically go one by one and keep doing this because that's all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to... I think I have the Seattle Kraken created on this account. So I'm going to do the expansion team route. So we start in the offseason, basically. And that way, it gives teams a bunch of time to sign these players. And then I'm going to go through the lines in the franchise mode for each team. And I cannot wait to... All right, I guess I'm going to have to send them another random low overall player. But yeah, I can't wait to hear all the players that I miss in the lineups. And then... You know, in the comments, that's usually how it goes. Corey Crawford is the highest rated player on New Jersey. Huh. What really confuses me is that, you know, when I go in and look at the line, sometimes, for example, the Jets, I think I just said, for example, twice. But anyway, let's ignore that. Maybe I didn't. I could just be in my own head. Pretty sure I did, however. But what I was going to say is the Jets could go in and re-sign Hellebuck. And then it makes me feel like I screwed up and didn't put him here. But I know I did. I'm going to go through and count all the players again here to make sure that there is 31 new players in free agency. All right, I successfully counted 31. So we're good. And now we can jump in and make that expansion team. I'm going to let my auto do everything basically. So if they end up signing someone, then cool. We just signed someone. But if not, then whatever. I, for some reason, thought the Seattle Kraken were going to join this upcoming season, but new. No, it's the season after that, so I was incorrect. I'm also, once again, going to let them do the auto draft, which I... Have I done that in this game already? I know in NHL 20 it was broken. I really doubt they changed the logic, so our auto draft for the expansion is probably going to be horrible. Here we go. I'm actually pretty curious to see where these players end up, and I know that for some reason they also end up signing non-multi-year deals at a very low price because I guess there's just so much competition that they can't ask for as much. Is that how that works? I don't know, but that'd be cool. You know, if the game actually takes that into consideration because I believe McDavid signed for something crazy, eight or nine mil, maybe even seven mil in the last one, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe with some other player. I don't know, but either way, that's just what I recall. There were some players that signed at some ridiculous contracts. Auto draft. I'm not even going to go in. I'm just going to auto draft right past it and hope for the best. We got JVR as our best player. Uh-oh. I didn't actually pay attention to the draft lottery, so I have no idea where. Oh, we're pick number three. And the Jets got pick number one. All right. They got Johansson. 82 overall, medium elite. Ooh, Rupert. I doubt we're going to get anyone that's going to be ready right now. So, yeah. Oh, Jake Sanderson. I know he's not ready right now, but I'm pretty sure we also got Dylan Holloway that has no flag. That is very weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of players here. Did I not assign them or did it like screw me over when I did the roster update or something? Because there's a bunch of players here that I created and I know I assigned them to a team. Just like Askarov, I swear I put him on the Predators. Well, whatever. I'll take Andre Turnbull just in the rare case he might be NHL ready. 77 overall. Honestly, with the team we drafted... Wouldn't be that surprised if he could crack the lineup. I love how I'm saying that and I have not even seen the team we've drafted yet. I have no clue who's going to be on this squad. Okay, we picked up Andrew Ladd. We better have got some insane future considerations for that one. What is that auto draft logic? Are you kidding me? What do we have it? Bro, let's just go into the free agent screen here to confirm that, yeah, they are here. All right, perfect. So we know that now. 
and we will sim to next year. We have only $3 million in cap space with that team. That is not a good situation at all. Okay, well, sim to next season, and then, like I said, we'll go through the lines one at a time and just see what, you know, happens. I don't know who's going to pick up who, but it's always interesting to find out. I'm pretty sure I always expected the teams that have a lot of cap space to end up signing a bunch of these players or the teams that, you know aren't as good to just take full advantage, but I think I was proven wrong that they don't actually do that. We actually do have a plus three on the first line though. That's better than I've ever <laughs> managed to accomplish, but forwards, we definitely didn't sign anyone. And defense, we also did not sign anyone. No, we just stuck with our team. I mean, I guess it's not like we had the cap space anyway. We only had three million, but we've got Panarin signed by the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. Oh, they also signed Roman Yossi. Holy smokes. Did you guys get a goalie too while you were at it? They did. They got Corey Crawford. They got one of each. The Arizona Coyotes picked up Tyler Sagan here. And I believe they did not pick up any defensemen. And they just kept their two goalies because they will do just fine. Oh my days. They replaced Bergeron with Nate Mack. That's a disgusting line. That should be illegal. Dylan Larkin was picked up by the Buffalo Sabres, so he'll be playing with Taylor Hall and Victor Olofsson. They also got Hoffman, I saw there on the second line. They didn't pick up any defensemen, and they are going to stick with Allmark. Tara Vinen, or sorry, nope, that's not who was grabbed by them. He's on the team. My bad. I totally could have recovered from that by saying Tara Vinen. Gonna be playing with my boy Marty and Huberdo, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know why I said Teravinen. You know when you're kind of thinking about something and then you just say it or type it without even realizing? Like, for example, if you're talking to someone about a dog and then you're texting and then you just all of a sudden notice you put dog there. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It's definitely not, though, because I've heard other people say it. So, But that's basically what happened with Teravinen there. And they did not pick up any defensemen. They also did not pick up a goalie. Bergeron's going to be playing for the Columbus Blue Jackets with Dubois and Atkinson. No defensemen picked up, and they are going to stick with Corpy Salo and Merzlikens. It looked like Calgary did not pick anyone up, but Chicago picked up Vladi Tarasenko, so that's pretty fire. No defense and they are going to stick with Malcolm in the net. Seems like nothing from Colorado here. That seems to be their regular lineup, minus Nate Mack. And we've got Eberly playing for the Dallas Stars. Okay. They also picked up Bufflin, but he wasn't one of the players we dropped. He was just in free agency. Yeah, it, did they trade for Eberly then? There's no way. Detroit did not pick up any forwards, defense, or goalies. Oh boy. Nuge is going to be playing with Dreisaitl and Yamamoto in McDavid's absence. And they picked up Petrangelo, so that's a nice defensive grab for them. No goalies. Barkov and Eichel are going to be playing together. Eichel picked up by the Panthers here. On defense, we have basically, well, yeah, they didn't pick anyone up. And then Bobrovsky. So the LA Kings lost Dewey. They did not add any forwards. They did not add any defensemen. And they did not get a goalie. The Minnesota Wild also appeared to have not done anything. Mitch Marner is going to be playing for the Montreal Canadiens with Philippe Deneau and Tomas Tata. On defense, they picked up EK65 as well. And they don't have a goalie, really. Well got Craig. McDavid and Kane signed with the Devils. They are going to be a good team. And they're going to be playing with Gus. Okay. Defense. They did not pick anyone up. And goaltenders. They're sticking with Mackenzie Blackwood. They've got Blackwood and Wedgwood. Unbelievable. Nashville did not pick anyone up. The Islanders did pick up Seb. Defensively, they also got Shabbat. Okay. I saw Char down there too. And they got Markstrom. So... The Islanders made some big moves here. The Rangers picked up Kucherov to play with Zibanejad and Lafreniere. That's going to be quite the first line. Defensively, they stayed the same. And in net, they're sticking with Igor. Ottawa picked up Couturier. So Couturier will be playing with Evgeny Dadanov and Brady Kachuk. On defense, we've got nothing. Oh, yeah. Sorry. They picked up Wierenski. I was about to skim right past that. But no, they got Zach. And they also picked up Connor Hellebuck. Good for you, Ottawa. The Flyers got Ovechkin. Are you kidding me? Ovechkin, Giroux, and Voracek on the first line. Oh, the Pittsburgh Penguins picked up Matt Barzell in exchange for losing Crosby. They also picked up OEL, and in net, they are going to be with Jari and DeSmith. Pedersen was picked up by the San Jose Sharks. So he's going to be the first line centerman, playing with Timo Mayer and Hurdle. Defensively, they got Dewey as well. 
In net, they've got Dubnik. They're going to be good, I think. The St. Louis Blues did not do anything. It's also kind of looking as though the Tampa Bay Lightning have also done nothing. Holy smokes. Matthews, Crosby, and Will Nye the Hockey Guy. That's quite the first line. Okay, they got nothing picked up on defense, and they are sticking with Freddie Anderson. Offensively for the Canucks, it appears as though they are just missing Pettersson. They also did not make any defensive moves or goaltending. I was trying to remember who got taken off this team because they are pretty stacked, honestly. But yeah, it was Hellebuck. So they're good on forwards. They didn't do anything there. And they picked up Gibson, just another 90 overall. The Caps picked up Suter to play with Carlson. So that's a tremendous top pairing there. Unfortunately, Hank will not be playing this season. So there it is. Let's go ahead and simulate the season now. Based off of that, guys, get some predictions going. Who do you think will be the most successful? And who do you think, I guess grabbed the best players or changed their team for the best. I'm trying to remember what team it was. I think it was the team that picked up Hellebuck, but they... Oh, is it the one that grabbed a forward, a defense, and a goaltender? Because I think they're going to be real good. I'm also going to go check out free agency again just to see if anyone's still there because I know that sometimes there is actually players that just don't get picked up by anybody. Oh, Hellebuck got picked up by the Senators, so I don't think this is the team I'm thinking of then. They got Couturier... And they picked up Wierenski, so technically I guess they did. It actually looks like everyone got picked up offensively. Did I see Carey Price anywhere, though? Carey Price might still be a free agent, actually. Yep, there he is. I don't remember seeing him. He was the only one. And he is asking for $4 million. Just for the hell of it, I'm going to see if I can dump cap on one of these teams and try to pick up Carey Price so that they all got taken. How much cap space will that give me? Yeah, he wants 4 mil, so that should work. Ah, uh, screw it. Let's. I, I know it's not going to be... It's obviously a giveaway, basically, but I just want to get that cap out of here so I can try. All right, we got 5.1 mil. We should be able to pick up Carey Price now. 4.5... Let's see if he takes it. Come on, Carey. It's not like you got many offers on the table. Andrew Cogliano putting up two points in the first game. What an absolute beast. Carey Price lost morale for signing with his new team. I don't know why it never popped up that it never said he accepted. I never got a notification that he accepted, but I got the morale thing. So I guess he's on our team. So let's do best lines. Yeah, let's go to defense. Okay, and in net we... Why is he not here? Imagine Carey Price playing in the AHL. Yeah, I, I don't think so. Sorry, Jake Allen, but you're going to have to go, my friend. All right, that should fix it. There it is. We got Carey Price. So now every player that we put into free agency has been picked up by some team. And we got five points in three games out of JVR. Okay, simulation time. Let's see how it goes. And let's see if any of your predictions were correct. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I swear I made it so that the head coach has full control over the line. So I, I, I guess I got to go change that back to on. Maybe it's on minimal right now. Yeah, this is getting ridiculous. All right. So best lines. I'm going to go. Oh my. Can you stop for one second? Oh, I think I know the problem. When you do best lines, it kind of prompts you. And I just automatically always go to uh, off or minimal, whatever it is. So yeah, I got to put it back on. Actually, it wasn't even on minimal. It was just on no. So yeah, that should work. There's no way we're going to maintain this. I, I have no idea how we're 5-1-2 and two right now. And I also have no idea how Paul Stasny has 11 points in 8 games. 9-3-2. and two, I mean, we're still... How are we doing good? I really do not understand this virtual game. Actually, I know what it's going to do because the game loves to do this. Yeah, here we go, right? It's going to be like win, 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 and then just massive lose streak. And then we're going to end up with like a record of 30... 40 and whatever the heck. Uh-oh, Washington Capitals fired their coach. Clearly not going too well for them. I wonder if we'd be doing this good if we didn't pick up Carey Price. Like, do you think he's making that much of a difference? Calgary Flames also fired their coach. Hate to see it. Also, how have I not seen any blockbuster trades yet? Okay, seller and continue. Show me at least one. You're telling me that nobody's trading out here? That's a bag of lies and you know it. Okay. All right. Tarasenko to Ottawa from Chicago for two first Matt Murray and Yarventi. I am so sorry. That was the only one. It's the only blockbuster trade throughout the whole season. The Jets have a hunt. Wow, they're 49, 18, and 7. They are really doing well without Hellebuck. Well, I guess they picked up Gibson, so. Yep, the classic end of season collapse that EA loves oh so much. I still think, yeah, we're in the playoffs. There's no way we're going to miss out. Even if we, okay. No, yeah, we're in. We got to be. You got to love the EA Sports simulation engine. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> How many did we lose? Okay, so... Let's, let's start it from here, I suppose. So we got one loss, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we went two and nine in our last 
11 games. Okay, fine. 2, 8, and 1. Whatever. I guess let's look at some stats and see what happened. Paul Stasny actually put up 75 points for our team this year. What a unit. The Winnipeg Jets walk away with 116 points and a President's Trophy. The mcdavid -less Oilers get 107. I believe they picked up a goalie, though, or was it defense? I Maybe it was defense, actually. Florida Panthers with 112. Okay, interesting. So, yeah, this is just the standings. I'll just scroll down to about where the playoffs cut off there. Ah, uh, screw it. I'll just go all the way. In case anyone was curious, the 24th place Ducks with a record of 34, 38, and 10 made the playoffs. That's how you know you have a broken playoff system. Holy smokes, that's bad. So yeah, as I said, Stasny had 75 points in 79 games. He led our team. JVR is next with 66. And then in net, actually hold that thought. I almost went to a different team. Didn't mean to do that. Carey Price. Yeah, I think he was a difference maker. He went 35, 23, and 4. Four shutouts, a 9-11, and a 275. Martin Jones did not do so great. Dry Seidel for his Edmonton Oilers put up 117 points. We got Jack Eichel with 110 on the Panthers. Shifley, Marchand. So basically of the top four, only one player is on a different team, but then of the top five, two arcs, we got Sebastian Aho for the Islanders there, Kucherov with the Rangers, Sagan with the Coyotes, Tarasenko was traded, I forget which team it was from, but to the Senators, Nate Mack with 95 points in 75 games, and Tarasenko only played 77 as well, so imagine if they played the last few games. Let's check out defensemen, so Petrangelo was almost point a game for the Oilers, wow, that's insane. 73 in 68 from EK65. Giordano did well. Burns did well. Ekblad. Okay, so for the most part, Doughty, yeah, he's on the Sharks. But honestly, yeah, for the most part, it's pretty much defensemen that were on their actual team, except for the top two, and I guess Doughty. And Bobrovsky for his Florida Panthers, 43 wins. Gibson put up 40 with the Jets. We got 40 out of Mackenzie Blackwood. On the New Jersey Devils, okay, Bishop, 39, Bennington, 38. Yeah, Carey Price is actually up there because he basically won the vast majority of our games that we won, I guess. I don't know where that was supposed to go. Let's simulate the playoffs here and see what happens. Obviously, we are not going to beat the Jets. There is a negative 5.3% chance we make it past this first round. Don't, no, I... I'm speechless, actually, honestly. Yes, I would love to continue simulating. We got past the first round. The second round, we might not get so lucky. Oh, okay. Game seven, we actually are in the conference finals. Why? Let's see how we can do against the Golden Knights here. We are 1-1. One, one. Oh, okay, yeah, we're done. They destroyed us. And the Philadelphia Flyers are the Stanley Cup champions. There you have it. Truthfully, I can't really remember who they picked up. So I'm going to the con. Oh, yeah, they got Ovi. How could I forget? I was debating on putting on my Flyers hat after that, actually. <laughs> also, side note, JVR had 17 points in 16 playoff games. What a playoff performer. But his former team, the Philadelphia Flyers, won the Stanley Cup. So that's unfortunate for him. But there's the team trophies. Let's go to individual now. We got Dreisaitl with the Art Ross in the heart. The Norris goes to Petrangelo. Tyler Sagan with the Lady Bing. The Calder goes to Lafreniere. Ovechkin gets the Conn Smythe. Vesna to Bishop. Bobrovsky's taking home the Jennings. Bill Masterton goes to DeKaiser. Jack Adams to Blacker on the Nashville Predators. O'Reilly gets the Selkie. Ted Lindsay goes to Dreisaitl and Maurice. Rocky Richard also goes to Leon. All right, well, that was interesting. I had fun with that one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, leave suggestions down below for other kind of, I suppose, what if scenarios that we can simulate and just run through in this game. If you guys could go ahead and click that like button, that would be tremendously appreciated. Also, if you haven't already, because I'm pretty sure I still have like a 60% people watching this aren't subscribed. If you could do that, greatly appreciated. Tremendously. All right, I'll see you later.